Hello and welcome everybody. Isn't it great to be a PC gamer right now? Just as we thought the screwed up GPU market would ease back into a normal situation, Nvidia and AMD decided to essentially become scalpers themselves. Because why leave all the profits to them if we can cash in ourselves? Not that they needed to do that. AMD's total revenue, for example, is expected to be around $23.5 billion dollars for 2022, after the lackluster $16.4 billion in 2021. That's an increase of more than 35% in total revenue. For me personally, the new GPU generation with the current pricing is dead on arrival and a huge disappointment, despite the impressive technological evolution. So I asked myself, what would be the best value option right now if you are into gaming at 1440p resolution. Not so much what is the cheapest GPU that is capable of providing a solid experience, but which option gives you the best bang for your buck and provides enough headroom to last at least two years without compromising too much graphic fidelity. Lucky for us, the battle of the upscaling technologies DLSS and FSR, especially with FSR essentially upgrading your older GPUs, we are much less dependent on the newest generational performance leap and FSR is becoming quickly available in a lot of games. So what is the current market situation for the 3000 and 6000 series? We still have a strong availability for new cards and prices are more or less back to normal. In addition, we have very good supply on the used market where the pricing is also pretty reasonable. Now if you take a look which performance tier gives you a good performance right now plus enough headroom for the next two years, the RX 6700 XT and the 3060 Ti are your best options. The 3700 is a tier above in terms of price and performance and the updated 6750 XT is really not worth the 5% performance increase compared to its pricing. But both are options if you are on a more generous budget. I think the 6700 XT is the better deal than the 3060 Ti, because it gives you a slightly better rasterization performance, better power efficiency and a higher availability on the used market for a lower price. That is of course only the case if you don't value ray tracing and DLSS as key features. If that is the case, you would always go with Team Green. But I think these are rather niche features and I personally don't really care for them. And to be clear, I'm neither Team AMD or Team Nvidia. I used a GT1060 for the longest time and was very satisfied with it. And then I upgraded to a 5700 XT after upgrading to 1440p and I recently bought a 6700 XT. But I would also buy a Team Green GPU again if the prices would be more reasonable. Let's take a look at some benchmarks for the RX 6700 XT with and without FSR enabled. If you target a solid 60 frames per second experience with the highest possible graphic fidelity, then this GPU is all you need at the moment. You will also find enough headroom to enable the Radeon Chill feature, so that you can keep your cut slightly below 100% load, thus saving energy and reducing noise levels significantly. Especially FSR ensures that you are not running into any performance issues in the foreseeable future. So I do believe that you can easily skip the new generation of GPUs and don't have to worry about anything in terms of performance with this setup. I also included one multiplayer game with competitive settings for those who are more interested in these kinds of games. Here's my conclusion for what GPU you should buy right now if you are gaming at a 1440p resolution. First and foremost, evaluate for yourself how much you want ray tracing and DLSS. That essentially decides if you go for a better price to performance card with AMD or rather pay a premium for these features with Team Green. If you are on a very tight budget, you can opt for a 5700 XT or a 6600 XT and will be able to get a decent 1440p gaming experience. But 
you don't have a lot of headroom and new titles in 2023 and beyond might force you to compromise on graphic fidelity. But it is your cheapest option. Make use of the very good availability on the used market. The savings are reasonable and you will find plenty of good deals. And finally, the RX 6700 XT offers very good value, used and new, while also providing enough headroom to last for approximately two years from now on, especially with FSR getting constantly updated and becoming a widespread option in a lot of games. But what do you think is the best value option right now and on what setup are you playing at the moment? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyway, that's all for now. Take good care of yourself and enjoy your gaming sessions.